Love Ritual with the New Moon. I'm Samara from Club Samara Tarot, courtesy of the Robo Vibes, Fitness, Wellness and Lifestyle Solutions from Gurgaon India. Today I'm bringing to you a love ritual that you can do while harnessing the power of the new moon. Today it's 11th of February and a perfect time to start with the new beginnings in your love life. Now we all know the power of the moon exerts control over ocean tides and women monthly cycles. All over the world, across different cultures, people have planned their lives according to the phases of the moon. By performing rituals or spells during certain lunar phases, you can harness this power. Moon rituals are nothing but spells performed during lunar phases that harness the power of the moon to achieve your, your goal, a particular goal or an intention that you've set for yourself. And the most powerful lunar phases are the new moon and the full moon. The new moon is a powerful time for a new beginnings, rituals and spells related to new romantic relationships, new job opportunities, new healthy habits and changing course towards any kind of a new beginning will be especially efficacious during this time. It is also beneficial for people, you know, the couples who are into a relationship even right now to take the relationship to the next level. And uh, if you have some sort of a talisman with you while you perform this ritual, uh, that will be wonderful. It could be a crystal, a moon pendant or a ring of any kind. Now keep that object with you for the next 30 days and let it remind you of how good you feel when you are following the new healthy habit. Now, before we get into the ritual, there is some preparation that you need to do, okay? What you need will vary by the ritual you want to do, but generally these steps will be in the, uh, will make you be in the right mental space and prepare physical objects you need to have. For example, you take a salt bath to relax and prepare your ritual. You wish to add herbs to your bath based on what kind of spells you're going to do. Sage to clear space of whatever energy it is previously holding and prepare it for your ritual and make sure you have a private area to perform the ritual where you will feel safe, relaxed. You can perform rituals alone or you can do it with a group, which kind of is very exciting. But if you're performing one alone, you should have a private area to do that. Any distractions should be sent out. You should have, um, if you have a private outdoor space, you can do the ritual outside, but inside is perfectly fine as well. And make sure uh, things that make noise, for example, a phone, a computer, um, television, pets, you know, just keep them out of the room so that you're free from distraction. So basically, we have to minimize the distraction or no distraction at all. And make yourself comfortable. You can play music softly if you like. Gather any items you need for your ritual. Now, I'm going to tell you about the things that you need, which is very, very simple. Okay, you need some sea salt. Okay, if you do not have sea salt, you can use rock salt, the pink one, or you can use normal salt, common salt. Okay, one smooth container, paper, pen, wooden match, and a candle. Okay, now choosing the candle depends on the kind of intention that you have in your mind. Now, we are talking about love rituals, so we are going to talk about a red candle. You can read the descrip uh, description down below where I'm going to be putting, um, you know, the color of the candles and what they mean so that it's easy for you to pick the candle of your choice. And you can perform this ritual based on any intention that you have in your life. OK, and um, before uh, beginning the ritual, you must clean this, the place where you're going to perform it. So ideally, um, you know, you burn sage, a light of the branch of a sage and pass it around your body in the space you will wherever you would like to do the ritual you know in the private space that you've set for yourself and um, sage is basically associated with the moon as well as you can light incense okay incense sticks are also good um, lavender honey rose you know these incense uh, sticks are good to use the first thing you should do is uh, define the ritual now this is a very important step here what is the purpose of your spell or the ritual? What do you do to direct it to? And to love and to prosperity and to unlock. So you need to define it well and you need to write your wish on that paper. Okay. And uh, you must sit down and uh, write in detail about what you need, what you want. Closing your eyes, visualizing the purpose of it all that you've defined already and put all of your energy into it. 
okay? Then you take the sea salt, okay? Make sure it's not refined. It should be as pure as possible, basically. And all you need to do is just make a circle with it. Now, inside the circle, you place a plate, okay? The plate uh, is, you know, um, it can be white. Uh, it can be transparent. Just make sure it does not have any drawings, okay? And um, inside the plate, you place the container where you will light that candle, okay? And the circle, it acts as a protection, okay? Now, when we take the candle in our hands, we close our eyes and rub it while we ask for what we want. And then you light it with the wooden match. And with another wooden match, heat the base of the candle to stick to the plate and never turn the candle, um, you know, upside down because that would turn the order. So it's like you're placing the order to the universe, okay, about what you want um, with the new moon, okay? And uh, when that's done, all you need to do is, um, you know, you can observe the candle and its behavior and try not to, um, you know, fiddle with it too much. Let it burn out naturally and completely. And uh, you take the remains of the candle as well as of the salt and, you know, keep it out of the house. Just put it back, keep it out of the house. And it is very necessary to repeat these rituals, um, you know, in the three consecutive days of this particular moon phase, which is the new moon. And depending on your needs, you can combine purposes and desires and prefer preferably um, do not start a new one, you know, a new uh, ritual until this one gets fulfilled. So that is all about love and all about the love ritual, which I can tell you, which you can do it today and you can start today. So 11, 12 and 13th February is a very good time to uh, make sure this ritual is done correctly with the purest intention, with a good heart. And with all of your energy focused into it without any, without any doubts, worries, fears. And if you would like to reach out to us, you can uh, contact us on Facebook or Instagram at The Rover Vibes. Same is in the description. And subscribe to this channel. Leave comments about how you like the rituals. And in case you use this ritual and your wish gets fulfilled, I would love to know um, the results. So you can always come back and put your comments about how did it go for you? How was the... Um, how is performing the spells that I can, uh, you know, get you new spells for new things. And um, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell icon to get notified. Thank you. And I will see you soon.